minus 10 seconds and counting. Hey, hey barbecue, barbecue family. family! Happy Friday, everyone! How's everybody doing? The chat's bustling already. It's rocking and rolling already. I gotta say, it's quite entertaining to see the chat happening while we get set up, guys. So thank you for that. We do appreciate it, guys. Always gets the chat going ahead because we're just standing here being like, "Oh, we got us Phil. We yeah, got barbecue. Mom. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're live in Barbecue Pops' kitchen. Of course, as always, if you are on YouTube, make sure you give a howdy ho to Barbecue Mama. She's hey, always Barbecue Mama. She's always hanging out in the chat. If you're on Instagram or TikTok and you want to see the graphics we have over on YouTube, then make sure you head over there. And hello to Insta. We got Royster joining us. Monk Man Barbecue giving us the horns. I like it. Badass Butcher. And I thought I saw our girl Chantel in the house. Hi, Chantel. Hi, Chantel. How are you? What's going on, everybody? How's everybody doing? I'm so excited that it's Friday. This week felt like a long one. Who's oh. with me on that? I don't know why. Is it maybe because we're in the heart of the winter? It's freezing. It feels like minus 50 out there. Yeah, I think it is. That, and I think it's um, also because I don't know about where you guys live, but in Canada, we've been, we're on like the third spring already. So it's like, it's got a little bit warm. We were all tricked into wearing the spring coats. Now it's back to freezing. I wasn't. I will say I wasn't. Key showed up at my house one day this week wearing her spring jacket. I was like, buddy, no. I got excited. You got much too excited. Yeah, and a now too it's. Quick. Now it's absolutely freezing outside again. I almost wasn't able to come here today because I got <laughs> stuck in the driveway. He was in a panic. He was in a sweaty panic. Guys, I was literally drenched in sweat on my way here this morning because my truck was just spinning out on the ice and I couldn't get the door open on the one side. I, it was frozen solid. Mine was frozen solid. There's a sheet of ice surrounding my Jeep right now and I thought I wasn't going to be making it either, but I got in. Really cold out there. It's super icy. There's a layer of ice over everything. Um, Check but it out looks the weather cam. You, you guys can't tell. Can see it. You can't really tell from that pic. That picture looks glorious. Some sunny. people <laughs> might be looking at that and being like, "Guys, it looks like a beautiful sunny day over there." But we will assure you, it feels like minus fifty. Yeah. Although the sun is nice. I gotta be honest. Marianne's nice joining us. She's saying it always feels like a long week just before a long weekend. Good point, Marianne. I forgot it's a long weekend here in Canada this weekend because Monday is Family Day. Is Mon is Family Day celebrated anywhere else, or is that a Canadian? thing. I don't know. Let us know, guys. Where first of all, where are you located? Tony, how's it going? He's saying Hi, beautiful Tony on TikTok. He's saying beautiful in Minnesota today. Ooh. I'm jealous. Are you trying to rub it in, Tony? What's going on? <laughs> but do you get family day in the States, Tony? Let us know. And let us know where you're located on TikTok. So I want to know. Yeah, let us know where you're located. And for people on TikTok and Insta, you guys can't see this, but we have something over on YouTube called First on the Grill. And we've been talking about it for the last four weeks because our friend Bat13 has been taking it, taking the title. Yeah. But look who knocked him finally out. <laughs> Tom's Food Factory taking it for Congrats, the victory Tom. today. Congrats. Yeah, that is amazing. I don't see Bat13 in the house, but I think he even is like, woo, I'm relieved about, I'm relieved about that. <laughs> okay, so Tom is saying Monday, and Hot Tommy said that as well. So, okay, so and they're confirming over on TikTok too. So is that a holiday for you guys? Weird that we have like the same day yeah, off, but it's but like for it's, a different reasons. It's reason. a completely different reasons. President's Day and Family Day. That's interesting. That is very that is very, very cool. Hi Barbara, how's it going? We have Chantel saying back in high school I used to have February break, but since I'm in college, I don't. But that's okay because the semester will fly by real fast. Great attitude, Chantel. Yeah. We went to when we were in university, we actually I don't know how this happened, and we didn't pick our university based off of this, but we actually had two reading weeks yeah so I here in that. Canada we call them reading weeks it's a it's basically a week break and we did have one in February yeah I remember that and I will tell you guys not a whole lot of reading was being done on reading week <laughs> well, well how can you get reading done when it's finally starting to be nice exactly out? we were actually in this very kitchen cooking and having fun so I guess it worked out because now we're back here in our 30s exactly okay barbecue pops is reminding us to keep it moving it's time for the Friday song and dance who is ready for the Friday song and dance. I am um, CJ just joined us. Hey CJ. Hi Sorry. CJ. <laughs> okay, are you ready, honey? Yes, I'm, I was born this. ready. Here we go. 
Friday, Friday. Yes, it's Friday. And now Hot Tommy's over on TikTok. Hey, Hot Tommy. <laughs> Hi, Hot Tommy. We got Rob G in the house, CJ. And we have Fritz Frank joining us on Insta. Is Fritz Frank on YouTube too? Hey, guys. I didn't see him over there. Oh, okay. Beth Artini is in the house. All right, Rob, did you get your photo? Because we sent you a photo. That sounds wrong. <laughs> As I'm saying it, I'm like, no. Oh my god. That sounded like it had a sexual edge. It did not. It does not. <laughs> it does not. It was a nice, sweet, wholesome photo that our friend Rob got because Rob is one of our valued Patreon members. Yeah. And I think HT got one too. I'm yeah. I'm pretty sure HT got one. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, Tony, we're live on everywhere Instagram, YouTube, Twitch, Twitter. Facebook, everywhere. So it's if you want to line up, it's a big lineup. Yeah. So if you want to see the different graphics, we're facing forward. Head to YouTube, and you can see uh, Barbecue Pops has got some pretty awesome graphics over there. We got S. Will. He's joining us on Insta. Tiger McCool, awesome, eh? How are you doing, guys? You came to a great episode because we are diving in to another. Fr or I'm like, what is it? Fridge Friday? <laughs> you invented this. <laughs> Fridge clear out Friday. Um, Insta and TikTok, you guys are not seeing the super cool new graphic that Barbecue Pops designed for us for Fridge Clear Out Friday, which he's right. I invented that and I just completely lost the name there. Yeah, why am I not surprised? <laughs> I'm surprised I remember the words to the Friday song. Because <laughs> that seems me to be too. iffy. Me too. With me. <laughs> but yeah, as you guys saw on YouTube, we're making a cabbage and weenie pie, courtesy of what was left over in Maddie's fridge. She had, she's got a leftover cabbage so not a whole cabbage and yeah, this one's gonna be we're gonna get weird again who's ready to get weird because this one is weird yeah this is a, well it's not really that weird it's a little bit weird because we're gonna be okay Uncle Chico's joining us he's saying Mad's looking cool with her liquid death he's got hers too yeah this stuff's awesome this I is say, this, this is awesome guys if anyone's looking at that and being like these gals are drinking on the job. This looks like a craft beer, but it is um, sparkling water because yeah. you, got, you guys know we don't need alcohol around here. Like, no, we don't. <laughs> I don't know why I'm finding this so fun, but Tony just joined us over on TikTok, or over on Tony, YouTube from TikTok. That's awesome. Tony's in the house on YouTube. Yeah, well, even Lama's saying last week was weird. Last week was weird. This is not weird. This is weird. Okay, fine. I think it's weird. Oh, Kathy's joining us too. Hi, Kathy. Okay, we missed Kathy last week. She wasn't with us here, but she's back saying, Cabbage baked into bread or even a pie? I'm in. Okay, yes. so Kathy's a cabbage gal. Who else is into cabbage? Okay. I gotta say. And see if you guys, let's see if you guys think this is weird. So I think it is key saying it's not weird. But we're going to be, because this is Fridge Clear Out Friday, we went, uh, like I went for a little look into the freezer because I was like, we have cabbage, we have shrooms, what are we doing here? I came across this open bag of weenies, a.k.a. Little mini cocktail weenies. Okay? I used to love these things. These things are awesome because they're just like little mini hot dogs. Okay. Yeah. And then I had a, a leftover sheet of buttery puff pastry that, okay, it's starting to be bent a little bit. So that means we got to get it going into the, into the pan here. That's so versatile though. So tell me if this is weird. We're okay. going to be sauteing the cabbage, the weenies, some onions into a pan throwing that into the um the buttery puff pastry and baking it so it's like a tart Tell I don't me if you guys think that's weird that's not one percent weird that's gonna be delicious she's got a couple extra onions here too and of course i'm on chopping because and, maddie was in charge wanted me to do it Fine. and you guys know that this is one of my favorite ingredients you got your jarred garlic and this is a fresh one and no. this gal right here can do the honors of Ew. opening up a fresh garlic oh my god this stuff is disgusting <laughs> i can't stand it it stinks but there are all the chopped garlic fans and i know they're in the house i know cj is i know hot tommy is i will do it for you honey because i love you thank you russell's saying he likes cabbage who else likes cabbage Yes, I, Russell, that's awesome. Russell, how do you make cabbage? Like, what's your favorite way to make cabbage? Can I tell you mine? I would like to hear yours. Well, can you guess what it is first? Um, you know me, don't play oh, me oh, wrong. Oh, no, then. I do know. Okay, but you want me to guess? Because I already know off the top. Okay, yeah, what's my favorite way to make cabbage? Kiki likes doing um, a fermented cabbage, not slaw, but sauerkraut. Yes! 
No, but it, it wasn't was, hard. That wasn't hard for me. I know. I'm surprised. I'm not actually surprised you got that at all, honey. But oh, I thought Hot Tommy said down with the jar. I thought he was going boo down with the jar of garlic, but he's saying I'm down with the jar. Four one four oh hotter guest sauerkraut. Yes, that's the that's my favorite thing to do with gar with um cabbage. Okay, they're trying to steal my thunder. I was first to guess. Okay. Yeah, but it's actually not what I like to do. Is not called sauerkraut. It's called crouchy. If you are into making fermented things, sauerkraut or crouchy is just sauerkraut and kimchi in one. So you got all the benefits. If you're a kimchi fan, it's like a spicy sa or sauerkraut, it's incredible. basically. Yeah, it's I'm incredible. addicted and I haven't okay, made it in a while. Barbecue Pops hitting us with the, the, not a split screen, but a picture in picture. All right, so honey, how do you want this cut? What, what am I doing? I'm, I'm like you. I'm not going to try and control you and run the show here. You cut that in the way that your little heart desires, okay? All right. And I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm already having some trouble here. This is what happens when you take out the puff pastry. Way ahead of time, Put it's it in the sticking. Fridge. It's sticking and it's not like peeling apart, but I'm gonna for. <laughs> I thought barbecue pots was coming with the pitch and he's like, let's see the sticking. <laughs> hey, Manny, Maddie's joining us. How's it going? Honey, put it back in there. Maddie also hasn't been here for a couple weeks, so I'm glad that he's back too. How are you doing, Maddie? Put it in the fridge. No, cause I wanna get that, that Why on are you now. forcing this? Cause it's not, okay, let me just see what's happening here. She, Maddie gets so stubborn when it comes to things in the kitchen in case anyone is not as new to her. You can't really tell her what to do. She She's her own woman. I am my own woman. She's making we're it gonna, happen. Guys, what we're going to do is actually like press this out and get it into the pan and then put it into the, the fridge. Oh, so you're doing a crust? I'm doing a crust like that, yeah. On the bottom? I thought yeah. you were doing that on the top. No. Oh, okay. She's giving me a look like, shouldn't you know this? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was that look. <laughs> And I just said I wasn't going to get controlling, and I think I will. Yeah, buddy. I think I will. Not my first day cooking with you. <laughs> <laughs> Barbecue Mama's like, she deaf is her own woman. Yeah, even if I try to control Key, it ain't going to happen. <laughs> Maddie said he's been working too hard. I know, because he hasn't been in the lives, and I, we've noticed, Maddie. We miss you. The lives aren't the same without you. They aren't. Anytime anyone's gone, it ain't the same without them. Okay, this is, um, so how about this? Is that Okay. I think that looks perfect. I'm doing like you a... You do you. All right. You do you, honey. Okay, so I'm, this. guys, like I'm a... just freestyling here and trying to... Actually, we're going to get this a little bit thinner and try and make this happen because this is not what I had planned. Not at all. I had this... This The whole point of puff pastry is that, especially this one, it just folds out nicely. Yeah, so what? translating that, Maddie is internally freaking. <laughs> I know no, her. I'm not. <laughs> Whenever something Guys, you can't freak on a fridge clear out Friday because the whole point of that is that no one knows what this is going to look like at the end. Okay? We all have never seen this recipe before because this isn't a recipe. Yeah, but with it's the a fridge clear out Friday. So whether this turns out or not, it's up to interpretation. Yeah, but this this is going to be, I can tell just based on the ingredients, it's going to be Flavor-wise, that's going to be yes. there. Is yeah. it going to look good? We'll see. Yeah. Okay, we'll can see. you oil me? Yeah, Thanks okay, so we're gonna oil, and I have a cool ingredient that Barbecue Mama um, brought for us. All right. Okay. Matt's and asking if he missed some kimchi. Matt, we were talking about kimchi, but we're not making it today. Okay, so um, this ingredient here, you might like, you might see this and think, okay, so you guys are gonna be putting mascarpone in there, but no, this is actually what a lot of people do which is just use this container to put in something else. And this is actually pork fat that come on pork fat and cabbage and Ooh. onion. You know, that's going to be good. Although I don't know if you will necessarily need that. Cause those weenies are super high in fat. Ooh, look at how luscious that looks. All right, she's doing it anyway. <laughs> oh my goodness. That smells incredible. Cool. <laughs> God, yeah, I am doing it. I am doing it. Ooh, that does be smell so good. good. That does smell really, really good. Just a little bit. Just a little bit for some extra flavor here. Yeah. And if you have it, my method is why not? That's my point. Exactly. Yeah. Like the flavor from the olive oil and the pork fat. Come on. You yeah. know that's going to be good. Russell's saying he's never made a kimchi. Russell, you are not living if you have never made a kimchi. Uh, Eva Llama over on TikTok is saying corned beef and cabbage is the best. Yeah, I hear that's a very, very good combo. Evil Llama said that? Evil Llama's on everywhere. <laughs> is he? Is he on Insta? I don't see him on Insta. Okay, so I'm going to add our cabbage in because i got to make room. And you know what's weird about cabbage? 
this didn't look like that much cabbage, but once I'm cutting it up now, it's quite a bit. But cabbage is like one of those things that it will cook down. Not as bad as spinach. You know when you buy a bin of spinach and you cook it down and it ends up being like a tablespoon? <laughs> yes. It's not that bad, but That's cabbage... why I don't really get how um, frozen spinach is like... I know. It's like, how is that a dollar? That's the biggest bargain in the grocery store. Totally. Frozen spinach. Because what would that be in like... If that was fresh, it would be like five packages for that level. I know. Of... I know. <laughs> Tom, Tom's like pork fat and now my <laughs> cardiologist is calling me. Yeah, this isn't a, this isn't gonna be the lightest fridge clear out Friday, but we don't need we who cares, guys? Who cares? Yeah, you got a lot of roughage in there. It's all true. It's there's cool. a lot of veg. There's a lot of veg going on in here. And I actually I don't know if I said if I showed this or not, but we're gonna be putting some um hey hot Tommy. He's <laughs> like, hey Kiki over on TikTok. Hi hot Tommy! We're gonna add this whole thing of mushrooms in here too. So that's it is gonna be veg heavy. Like that's yes. these are kind of old and manky. Now like, we have cool. Barbecue Wood Music <coughs> 2A saying, you ladies rock, love it. We have Five Leaf 3 saying, Boar <laughs> boiled cabbage is but <laughs> We ain't boiling the cabbage here no. today because I agree, if you just boil it, although I feel like that is a bit, that does, that's just like a straight up cabbage, cabbage flavor. You know what, it's I have to tell you. Best, it's not the best way to enjoy cabbage. Okay, but like anything else, last summer I grew cabbages in the garden. And I was, I was um, blanching them to put them in the freezer. And once they were coming out of the water, they smelled so good that I just got out some salt and a little bit of melted um, plant-based margarine. And I ate like an entire Ooh. cabbage. I melted it, the, I melted the butter and I was getting like, I was just rolling up the cabbage and dipping it in the butter with salt and it was incredible. Okay, now you're making me want that. Yeah, because sometimes simple is better. I don't know why, but it always ends up that way. Ooh, Fr Fritz Frank is saying, I have never made kimchi, but I have eaten authentic kimchi oh. in South Korea. Fritz Frank, was that incredible? Fritz Frank, I am I so jealous. Oh my goodness. I am such a huge fan of kimchi. Now I'll show you guys. <laughs> Five Leaf 3 is saying, Kiki, I love you, but that sounds bland as hell. It ain't, though. No. Oh, guys, good one, Five Leaf 3. You, if you have salt, you got to add the salt. No, oh you know God. what? It's salt whatever. carries okay. this along. No, and it, salt it's Salt carries not. cabbage along. It sounds like it would be bland, but it's not. I promise. Okay, and look at <laughs> it. This looks incredible now. Yeah, it does. That's she brought be, it home. That's going to be good. I'll show you guys what this looks like, and... I take it back. I'm not internally freaking anymore. No, that was incredible. I was incredible, for a heartbeat. Honey. I will admit, admit it. We'll show TikTok over here. Guys, look what I just did there. Never freak. No. Never freak. You can always save something. I thought for sure you were planning on putting that on the top. No. Like a shepherd's pie with a crusty top. That's what I thought you were doing. To That's me, not guys, what she's doing. Does a pie <laughs> not need a pie? A definition of a pie is stuff cooked in a crust. Come at me and tell me otherwise. Well, then, what do you call it's a cottage a pie? What do you what do you call um what what's what's blueberry pie doesn't have a top? No, I know, but you, actually, yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes, <laughs> what? To, yes, it does. But you know when you what make pie like does, a, pumpkin pie doesn't have a top. Yeah, no, I know, but I'm not talking about sweet pies. You know when you make like a like a a beef and ale pie and it has a puff pastry on the top and you can crack into it. You don't it's like, have to do that. And it's like groovy on the bottom. That's what okay. I thought you were doing. No, I'm not. All right. Well, and fine. that's that's the whole point of a fridge clear out Friday. You never know what's going to happen. And we're all in this journey together, everybody. We're I'm already enjoying this journey. This journey smelling, um, I'm surprised you haven't mentioned the word toots yet. Do you have any seasonings for this? I'm what are you I seasoning do. with? I do, but I'm Let's surprised you together. haven't mentioned the word toots. We're talking cabbage. I know. I can't believe that you've said, you haven't said it yet. But you know what? Cabbage is not really tooty until you start fermenting it. Because oh, I'm not yeah, getting toots. Yes, right now, you're, you, cabbage, smell, you smell toots. I, I do. Whoever smelt it dealt it. Let's just, let's just put that out there. <laughs> I swear I knew you were going to What is happening that? over here? CJ and Tommy. What? What? What are they saying? They're like, how do we get King's attention? <laughs> you got it, guys. You, you got, got it. it. You succeeded. <laughs> yep, you got it. Okay, now I gotta I gotta keep it moving. Kathy's here because... saying this is totally up my alley. We have Barbecue Ottawa saying Happy Friday, ladies. Have a wonderful weekend. Thank you for joining us, Elias. You have a great weekend. I don't. I take it back. I don't think this is weird now. This is not one percent weird. This is gonna end up being phenomenal. I gotta get um I gotta get rolling here because of course as usual I have all the chopping to do. 
Where's Brian? Because you're darn right. What you're am darn I? Right. Oh, your seasonings. Yeah. Okay, but do you want some um, salt and pepper? Or? Yeah, you can get that, but you can also put them um, in the rosemary because okay. I think rosemary and and cabbage go so good together. All right, I think so too, honey. So we're gonna add a little bit of rosemary. Five leaf three saying, ha ha, I made you laugh, Maddie. DM me, I'm in Toronto. We can grab a drink. Oh, oh. <laughs> first time getting ass out on a live. <laughs> Maddie's taken. <laughs> FYI, there's no harm in a drink. Ma <laughs> Maddie. Kidding. Hi, Luke. He's saying, sup from Iowa. Actually, on that topic, on the on the no harm in a drink hey, cheating Bob. topic. Okay, I what do find salt and pepper. Do you guys do you guys hear that um Olivia Wilde, the actress, apparently tweeted out or she did something in her Instagram stories talking about ASAP Rocky, who is Rihanna's partner. She said What's his he's name? hot, ASAP Rocky. She said he's hot. And then people lost their mind because they were like, You shouldn't be saying someone else's partner's hot. What? Like, what it, how is that? Like, why aren't you allowed to say somebody's hot? How is that disrespectful? I don't think it is. I don't think it is either. If you're, if some, if you find somebody hot, who cares if they're in a relationship? What does that have to do with anything? Yeah, I'm not getting how that's rude. I honestly, that's one of the ones that I was like, I don't get why, how, why, or like what the reason why the internet freaked out, but they did. And um, we almost just cut ourselves yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> we got to watch it, Mrs. That was a little too close for comfort here. Okay, and Fritz Frank is saying, I agree, there's no harm in a drink. Wait, is Marianne still here? Because <laughs> if anyone doesn't know, Marianne is Mr. Fritz Frank's wife. <laughs> I don't know. I think there's harm in a drink, guys. I think there's harm in a drink. There may be a, dr a drink, yes. Okay, fine. But Not harm. I think like you gotta be asking yourself why would you be going on on like on a drink with someone? But why? What is your intention? Okay, there? but the saying the hot thing. See, CJ's just laying it on the line here. He's saying people say I'm hot all the time. I've said CJ's hot. <laughs> Watch out, Mrs. CJ. I think we've said hot. almost everybody on here is hot. Well, Are this, we being inappropriate? This is an attractive bunch. I don't think you can say um I don't think that's inappropriate to say someone is handsome. No, it, it or was someone hot. is is someone is attractive. Hot. Yeah, it was saying the word hot. Like handsome it, and hot are the same thing. I, but that's what I'm saying. Is is it the word hot that got to people? Is it the word handsome that's like more appropriate? I don't think this pan can accommodate what's happening. It'll cook down. <laughs> the cabbage will cook down. Yeah, somewhere I'm allowed to be a little bit controlling on you. Just handle it, please. Because look at all the mu oh, I, we lost a little bit. The mushrooms are gonna. Very I still well gotta... done on the rosemary. You okay. can go too much on the rosemary. And I salted you already, but I'm not. I'm not gonna add any. Hi, Thomas. He's saying howdy, ladies. What's going on? Hi, Thomas. Um, barbecue mama. What's wrong, barbecue mama? She's having some issues with what we're talking about. <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> I just don't know if like the drink thing is uh the drink thing is different than like what I just brought up. Yeah, that's a, that's like night and day difference. Agreed. But I just I honestly like, didn't understand it, and like I think people need to lighten up. I think so too, because like I think unless you're like insecure about your relationship, maybe like maybe you maybe she is. I don't know why like Rihanna would be upset about that. No, I, she wasn't upset. The world was. Oh. Okay, I gotta wash my hands, right. but um. <laughs> Marianne is still in the house and she's saying, what the heck? No, you're sleeping outside tonight. <laughs> so thank goodness Fritz Frank, he's a skier. He likes the outdoors. I'm going to say he's not entirely <laughs> that. Hi, Susan. She's saying hi from Newfoundland. How's it going? Susan, how is the weather over there? Because we just got a pretty um, intense ice storm. So I can just imagine nine times out of 10, Newfoundland, the weather's way more intense than ours. Oh yeah. So uh, did you get an ice storm, Susan? Cause I, I, to be honest with you, I couldn't get my truck defrosted for a long time. I was sweaty. Guys, we're lucky Kiki's here. Okay. I was internally and externally freaking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Hot Tommy's saying Hot Maddie and Kiki. Yeah, and that's, that even goes without saying. We call, we, one of our friends in the house right now, his nickname is Hot Tommy. So is that like, is that very offensive? Let's ask Hot Tommy's <laughs> wife. Is that offensive? I don't see how that can be taken in I don't see it. I don't see it way. at all. Thomas is saying 43 degrees Fahrenheit here in East Texas. Oh, cool. We got another Texan in the house. Oh, my goodness. I'm so jealous. Okay, the shrooms are taking this in a unique direction. Okay, I was dying because I think it was Kevin just said, uh, we're entering um, hash territory. <laughs> we are. 
Kevin, we are. send that Kevin good one. This is hash in a pie. That's what it should be called. Hi, Jan. Jan's Jan, here. Oh, Jan all said he was going back to sleep, but he's back. He Hi, made Jan. It for the show. Yeah. And Rage and Pillage Pod is saying, what's on the menu? We got some cabbage and weenie pie on the menu. And if that's not an interesting, cool name that we got to give credit to Barbecue Pops, he's the one that came up with that one. Yeah. And Barbecue Pops loves a good hash, so I'm not surprised that this is headed in that direction. Yeah, I, who doesn't love hash? This is okay, quite a bit Tommy's of shopping. Saying his wife doesn't mind it. She loves it and rolls, uh, she, she loves it with a roll of her eyes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I don't really see like the, the issue here. But like, I, think, I think if I would have to assume what that's happening, she's probably like, okay, girls, call him that all you want. That's how I'm picturing it. If someone said my partner was hot, I would be flattered. Yeah. I would be you... like, they're hot and they're with me. Exactly. That's how I would take that, is yes. like flattering. That's why I don't understand. We live in a very uptight world that if people are losing their, their mind on that. To me, that's why I was honestly very confused. Yeah, me too. I didn't know that, um, I have no recollection, I didn't know that Rihanna had a boyfriend with a funny name. I don't know, what you just mentioned his name and it sounds weird. He's, he's a rapper, <laughs> that's his name. Yeah, I'm not surprised by that name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me neither. <laughs> All right, so I'm almost working on my shrooms here. Then for some reason, Maddie with the contact lenses has still put me on onions. I don't yeah, know I why. Sorry, honey, sorry. Okay, Rob's saying I've been married for 40 years. My wife will still sometimes say, that's a good looking man. Does not bother me. Yeah, okay, Rob, thank you. So I'm assuming that she's saying that about someone other than Rob, and I think that there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Absolutely. That's like, be honest in your relationship. That's not, just because you get in a relationship doesn't mean that you can't see. No, I You're was still seeing people. I was actually dying because my partner the other day said a man was an attractive man, and I was like, you, I like that even better. When a man can say another man is hot, you know that's a good looking man. Yeah, it was that, it was that guy that's new in the um, canine unit. So there's a guy, there's a new guy in the canine unit who honestly looks like The Bachelor. He's like, he's got the police dog, and the police station posted a picture he of this like guy. He could be the bachelor, not the current bachelor. Yeah, like he, exactly. He's like, so the police station posted a picture of him on social media. And the point of the post was to say like, welcome this new guy. He's a canine handler and he's got this dog and it's a new dog. All, it had like hundreds of comments on it. And all the comments were about how hot this guy was. It was nothing to do with the dog. It was nothing to do with anything. It was because he was so hot and no one can deny him everybody at, at um their work is saying like how hot this guy is and people are coming out from like communications to see how hot he is we are like have you never seen an attractive and person? like why i don't understand why like on that topic why are like good so like like conversation provoking i know it's not like he's like doing anything to yeah. like help and like help uh cj incredible ryan or he said ryan reynolds is a good looking man yes cj i'm impressed I'm impressed that you can say that. All right, we got Will Plunk and Kit Kat, I'm assuming, coming at us hot with a $10 super chat. Thank you so much, Will Plunk. And he said, love the picture you sent. So that means Will and Kit Kat got their picture. That makes me so happy. Woo, Will Plunk. Aw, thank you so much, Will Plunk. Um, and Thomas over on TikTok is asking, beards or no beards? Ooh, as that's far a very as, good like, question. Very good question. As far as... um. Looks wise, I think they're Your preference, saying, like what, what do you I'm, think, honey? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna specify this. If you're gonna rock a beard as a man, love it. Love the look of a beard. However, please make sure it's clean. Ew. Please make sure that you shampoo it or tend to it. Maybe go to the barber every now and then to get it cleaned out and properly dealt with. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna say about beards. But the look of a man with a properly maintained beard, I'm into it. I would I'm have to say it depends on the person. Like some people really do not suit beards and some people can't grow a beard. <laughs> yes, but if you can, I'm into it. And it's nice. Like don't go all like whisker, <coughs> whiskery. That, yes. That's just not ten, a good beard. Just make sure it's clean. Clean can take you far in life, okay, in general. <laughs> yeah. We have Rage and Pillage saying, I know what you mean. I also have people coming to look at me. I'm going to assume it's because I'm hot. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you can't assume that. You can. <laughs> Hi, Square Table Degenerates. How are you? Jan is saying he's got an oil for his beard and a balm. Ooh, Jan, yes, that's what I'm talking about. Jan, who told you to put the balm on? <laughs> I think that's 
awesome because yes, shampoo it, oil it, um, balm it. Yes, yep. I think that's all awesome. But you got to keep it clean. Keep it, keep, keep it, keep it clean. clean. Keep it trimmed properly. Yeah. Okay, right. so on that note, guys, I'm doing a lot of just sauteing. Well, I'm, who's ready to go for a little dip dive into the big bowl of questions? I am. I am. Who is? TikTok, are you guys ready? Yep, I am. Are you am. guys ready? Let's go. Okay, here we go. Bring her over. What is the question of the day going to be? I'm curious to find out as I continue to chop my entire life away here. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. That is right. Although, it, well, oh, I forgot you had two onions. I okay, it was only one. we're going in. I am in to the big bowl of questions. Eva Lama, I see you. Thank you for saying so. That is very sweet. Everyone is throwing a lot of, everyone's looking hot. Everyone's <laughs> looking hot. They're looking tight. I'm into it. Okay. Okay. Who is ready to go in here? Let's see what we got for today. All right. Let's see what's up. All right. The question for everybody today who's watching right now mm -hmm. is, this is interesting. Okay. What is the most boring sport? All of them. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Someone did not miss a beat on that. <laughs> Kiki don't do sports, people. Kiki don't do sports. Okay. So, guys, the question is, what is the most boring sport? Okay. So, this is going to be interesting to hear what people Curling. <laughs> Okay, is it curling like is is that Canadian? Yeah, I'm a bad Canadian saying that. I yeah, think curling I is like our thing. Yeah, I'm saying that because we're Canadian. We're proud of it. All right, it. we're getting a lot of soccer over oh, on TikTok. Oh, Kathy said soccer too, and she's saying hands down soccer. So does that mean there's no FIFA people in the house? Because that is soccer, and FIFA is pretty exciting. Yeah, I'm surprised people are saying okay, <laughs> Jay, badminton. Jay said curling. <laughs> Luke is saying baseball. And Square Table Degenerates is joining us. And they're saying, oh my goodness, they're saying some fighting words, the WNBA, women's basketball. Uh-oh. I didn't say it. I'm just reading out what someone just said. <laughs> oh, my eyes. Okay, so mom is saying curling rock, so she's not with I actually any. used to curl. to be Like, I, I was a curler a long time ago. Now, Daddy Dutch is throwing something out, which, hello, Kent. I didn't know Kent was in the house. Oh, my this eyes. This is interesting, to because I would not necessarily consider his answer a sport, but Daddy Dutch just said chess. Now, is chess a sport? No, chess is a game. That's okay, not a sport. Chess, I guess it could be a, like. I could see that that could be a sport, because they have tournaments. True. What defines a sport? Oh, my eyeballs. Are you okay, okay, yeah, I just okay, gotta go I'll clean stir, up. I'll stir, I'll stir. Clean okay. up, um, clean your tears. I'm sorry, I should be chopping the onions. Yeah, that's too much. But this is bringing up a good question. Like, what even defines a sport then? Because, I don't consider chess to be a sport. I'm like Kia. I would say it's more of a game. Like, a, like is Monopoly a sport? Barbecue Pops is a big sports fan. Barbecue Pops, what's the most boring sport? Chess is a sport. Oh, and How he's is confirming chess, chess is a sport. If Barbecue Pops says it, it is. Well, I think it, it gets defined as a sport if there's, like, competitions. Right? No, because right? I just said, if there's a, if, is Monopoly, can Monopoly be, like, a battle? Like... Yeah, I don't know. It's a good question. I don't know. And like people, I don't Golf, want, yeah. Oh my God, golf is so boring. I don't want to say this because there might be some people in the house, but one that has always perplexed me on what, how it's a sport, <laughs> NASCAR. Racing. Yeah. How, that oh, is boring. How barbecue pops. Okay, again, I'm not saying it's necessarily boring. I'm Ew. just saying I don't get how that's a sport, but barbecue pops is confirming he thinks NASCAR is boring. Oh my God, this stuff is so terrible. Get it in there. Okay. Get it Oof. in there. Now, if there are any NASCAR fans in the house, which I'm sure there will be, um, I'd like to see, because that, that one to me has always confused me, because isn't a sport something that you physically train for? Like, are you not pumping iron to drive a car? Yeah, Jan just said, um, as, if you're not sweaty. Okay, you went really hot and heavy with the garlic. Buddy. Is that too much? It's a lot. That's okay, gonna sorry. Be a lot. We got to get the breath mints today. Sorry, guys. I, Jan just said, um, if you're not sweating, then it's not um, a sport. Interesting. And that to me make, makes a lot of sense. Janimal, yes, that's good. We have S. Will saying sport and activity involving physical exertion and skill in which an individual or team competes against another or others for entertainment. Thank you, S. Will, liking it. Can I have this? Five Leaf Three saying grass growing competition is the most boring sport. Look it up. It is a sport in New Zealand. Interesting. Weird. I think I, I don't know if I believe it. I think I might have to look that up because grass growing, 
Come do people on. sit there and watch it? Or yeah, like, I don't do get, you... how can you be like cheering like grass growing? I don't get it. <laughs> I don't know, but your front lawn could win that competition, honey. And cat, my you got wife, good, you got good grass. It's a tiny front yard, but it's pretty good. Aren't good. Kathy saying, "Yeah, that's a no to NASCAR <laughs> too." Okay, so Kathy is agreeing with barbecue pops. She's saying, "A no, it's not, and it's boring." Yeah. And evil llama throwing out a very, very evil llama answer. Okay, he's saying it's Jello wrestling. No, he's asking, <laughs> "Is Jello wrestling a sport?" I don't know. I think it could be. I think it could be. Yeah, it could be. Okay, that's smelling good. Um, well, that still needs some time, though. Yeah, and I it's think. smelling very, very garlicky. I was just going to say, yeah, the garlic has really, really kicked in. So, Russell's saying NASCAR drivers are physically fit because of the G-forces on the body. Oh, interesting. Hmm. So, you got to get fit to deal with it. And I mean, like, astronauts probably have to be fit, too. Probably. Yeah. I don't, I don't. Jen saying baseball. Baseball yeah. is quite not boring. Maybe the Jays, Barbecue Pops is saying it's not going to be boring this year because maybe the Jays are going to actually be good. But All right, Dave's saying, okay, what's for lunch? Today we've got a fridge clear out happening. And Maddie had bits of cabbage. She had little mini weenies. That was more than a bit of that was, cabbage. That was like a half, over half a cabbage. This is, I don't know if all this is going to fit in this pie. So huh? she had some onions and we're cooking it down some mushrooms and we're going to make it into a pie with puff pastry. Which I should probably go turn on the ninja. Okay. Okay. <laughs> CJ saying Jello wrestling is definitely a sport. Oops. Not that he knows from experience. I would like to hear that story, CJ. And on that note, guys, I also wanna. I don't know if everyone has seen our Instagram story yesterday, but we asked people if they had ever been kicked out of anywhere in their life, and that story kind of blew up. And I have to say, a lot of people that answered, we got a naughty group. A lot of naughty people that have been getting kicked out of places. More, like, what was the percentage? It was insane. It, I think it was like 78% of people have said that they have gotten kicked out. And many of them actually did share their stories as well. And I'm going to guess that alcohol was a factor in 99% of those stories. Yep, yep. <laughs> the answer to that is yep. <laughs> and a five leave three is saying something very sweet and very accurate. What? They're saying you guys have the funniest fans. We uh, certainly yes. do, guys. The people, the crowd that tunes in every Friday on these lives, you guys know we go live every single Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern. This is a fun group. Yes. This is a fun bunch. We can't wait till we get to Fridays. <laughs> okay, Square Table of the Generous is saying, I was kicked out of a museum at Ohio State <laughs> for passing out in the museum because I was loaded. So see, once again, I think it all comes down to alcohol. Oh, being loaded in a museum, that's a good one. And they're actually saying they have 500 of these stories. And do they all include alcohol? <laughs> my money's on yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Aside from that, I don't know if um, we've ever been kicked out of anywhere. Me and you are really way too wholesome for these. Yeah, which I had shared that um, technically ours is not even a kick out situation because we never made it in. No, exactly. I shared that we tried to go see the movie Scream, the first one, and I, at the time, thought, and again, and still to this day, thought Barbecue Pops was super cool because he was our dad trying to get us into the theater, and it was, I think, rated R. Mm -hmm. And he was like, no, I'll get you guys in. Don't worry, I'm going to get you in. But even Barbecue Pops couldn't make that happen. They, so they, you get to go see it. Your parents can't just determine that, though. It's, if those are rules, you can't yeah, just override the rules. There was no getting past this 15-year-old kid <laughs> working the ticket booth. He was like, sir, stand down, okay? That's not happening. <laughs> Russell, well, a great story doesn't start with a salad. <laughs> I resent that, Russell. Key, key, a lot of key stories do. <laughs> and, and they're not the best. There's not, nothing really exciting happens when you have, with a salad. Last time I, um, when I had my procedure last week, then they asked you all those questions like, do you smoke? Do you drink? And I'm like, no, no, no. Do you do, you do anything fun? No. And <laughs> do they, you eat gluten? No, I don't even. Like, I don't even eat gluten. No. And the guy was like, the anesthesiologist, 100% did not believe me. It was this like short, shifty, like British guy. And he was like, all right, so just good, clean living. And I was like, yeah. Really good, clean living. That's a hundred percent true. But he didn't. He was not buying it. It's not really that believable. I know. It's not. How many people, when they go to the doctor, if they they are afraid of being judged, and if they are say like, do you drink? Do you smoke? Do you smoke marijuana? They ask you that now too. How many people would lie? 
Get lot, a lot of people lying, probably. Even though it's legal in Canada, I think people still, there's still um, somewhat of a stigma around it. I think people still would lie. Although I don't know why. If, you, if those are your habits, those are your habits. You know what I mean? Should we get this in? This is your rodeo, honey. You tell me what your heart desires. I wanted to cook it down more. There's still a lot of like water that's coming out, but we also need to get the show on the road here. <laughs> All right, Square Table Degenerates. Again, I tell them about the marijuana. I'm not going to repeat the end. <laughs> <laughs> what? I D G A F. Do we know what that means? Do you? We're no. not going to repeat it. Uh, I know oh, what that means. Yes, no, I got it. I got it. <laughs> Yeah, you know what though? I appreciate that attitude. If you, I kind of do too. You know what? If you're gonna do it, stand by it. And I think they have to. I think they're asking you those questions for a reason. So if you do do those things, you ha you should say because maybe the anesthetic will affect you differently, or maybe they have to give you exactly. more. Exactly. Be honest. Honesty is always the best policy. Absolutely. Kathy saying, my dad pretended he was kicking me out of the house once. He threw a bunch of my stuff on the front porch because I always had a messy bedroom. Oh my goodness! Yeah, but Kathy, did that teach you then to keep a nice, clean bedroom? I like parenting that has good stories like that. Me too. That's how kids learn. Yeah, me too. And for some reason, even Lana's just throwing out Kiki likes the ganja. And no, she doesn't. <laughs> I think that's whole, I haven't heard that in a long time. No, she doesn't. <laughs> Who says ganja? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Okay, I say let's get this in because okay. we gotta get going. And All right, guys Kyle, we're gonna show you. Kyle's asking what you're making. Kyle, we are gonna show you in just a second. Um, let's see, um, user with a bunch of numbers is saying, <laughs> my mom took me and my 15 year old friends to see Alien in the drive-in, it was awesome. Ooh. So maybe you can sneak into a drive-in easier. Okay, well we didn't get in, long story short, barbecue pops couldn't make it happen. We didn't get to go see it. We saw Mars attacks instead. Which I don't remember to be very good. He didn't remember anything about this. No, story, I have a so bad memory when it comes to stuff. That's like that. not really that good. <laughs> no, but Mars attacks. Okay, this is looking good. absolutely phenomenal. I'm gonna yeah. show you guys once once I'm done loading this, but this is looking so good. That is gonna look. That is gonna be. I still say we should have put the crust on the top, but that's just me. And that's, that's just what I wanted. And that's you're not eating this, so you don't get that. And I'm not the one responsible here, so I'm trying not to be super controlling. Okay, so that's not, we're not going to load this. I'll show you guys what this looks like right now. We're going to fold that over. Hi, Andrew. Andrew, our friend from NYC, joining us. Guys, look Can you at, want this off now? Yeah, look All at right. how cute that looks. Super cute. We'll show everybody on TikTok. Wow, Check that does out, look incredible, guys. honey. And honey, let's get that out of there. Okay, you want me to move this panel together? Yes. Okay, I'm getting it out of there, honey, for you. I'll move it out of the way. Hi, Instagram. I don't ever get to see you guys on this side. That's gonna be phenomenal, honey. So we're just gonna throw it in the ninja, get that cooking away. Trumpet Master saying the original Batman was awesome at the movies with Michael Keaton. Yes, I remember that one. Trumpet Master, yeah, Trump is Trumpet Master over there? Yeah. He's on YouTube, he's on Insta, he's on TikTok. Hello, Trump Master. Yes, that was a really good movie. Yeah, it was. It I don't was. Mars Attacks? No. Mars Attacks was one that I remember seeing in the theater and I didn't quite I was like, mm, but if you see it again, it's actually kind of funny. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so are you guys ready for Cheers to the Weekend? Because I am. I totally I'm am. I'm super ready for Cheers to the Weekend. Yeah, no, I totally am, honey. I want to see what's up. <gasps> I forgot cheese on this! Cheese me! Okay. Cheese me, because well. it's time for Cheers to the Weekend. We're going to get cheese on there, and then we're going to get going with Cheers to the Weekend, guys, because we have a good one coming up for you You guys. want all this cheese on here? Let's throw her all on there. Okay. If, if it's too much, don't put it all on, but I wanted a true free clear out. Can there any ever be such thing as too much cheese? Agreed. You can't have too much cheese. Therefore, it's all going on. I like the way you're talking, honey, and that's looking okay. good. And also, when you cheese layer something over the top, you get rid of all the little imperfections. Exactly. It instantly looks delectable. All right, let's let's get that going. That was a perfect amount of cheese, I gotta say. Was it? Yes. It looks, yes. It looks fantastic. All right. It's let's time see here. for cheers to the weekend, everybody. Honey, put that on your side, please. Okay. Guys, today we are making something that I think has a cute name. I don't know why I'm into this name. All right. But it's called Licorice Fizz. Ooh. Has anybody had that before? I haven't. But it sounds good. I do I do like licorice. I know Barbecue Pops loves licorice. Licorice is one of those flavors that a lot of people are like, no. 
Yeah, I know it's not hugely popular. It's it, not a hugely popular one, but it has lemon in it that balances out the sweetness of the Sambuca because Sambuca is super, super sweet. It's almost like a syrup. Is it? Yes, it mm. almost is like a syrup. And so that's where you're getting the licorice flavor? Yes. Okay, sorry, I'm not, I'm not up to snuff on the alcohol. Okay, <laughs> that's right, that's right. Sorry. Okay, so we're gonna put, actually we're gonna start with, um, let's go with some ice. Okay. First off, we're gonna, let's not See, drop it like I did last time. CJ saying he hates black licorice. Now is this black licorice honey or is it just licorice, the flavor? Black. Okay, it is black. Okay, so we're just gonna go in with um, some lemon, which I should have asked you, Key, to bring your lemon thing. I still didn't get it. I don't know if the dollar store will, would still have it now. Though. I got I that a while that. ago. Me too. Do you want a juicer? Barbecue Pop's saying he's got That's one. That's okay. All we're right. going to go in with that. We're just going in with it. Okay, wow. This one has like tons and tons of seeds. That's all right. The Guys, look at how much seeds are in there. You know what? It's extra fiber. Yeah, there's nothing. Sometimes if you get a seed, I do this over like Caesar salad and you get a seed and like it's bitter, but it kind of adds to the experience. Exactly. Rob's saying his dad loved black licorice. So maybe it's a dad thing. The dad seemed to like it. <laughs> <laughs> and he's saying he passed it on to him. Russell likes it now too? Yeah. Awesome. Eva Llama's not heavy on the Sambuca. He's throwing out a pukey face. <laughs> yeah, he's saying, oh my God, is that Sambuca? <laughs> yeah, I think a lot of people have some... Um, like drinking stories gone wrong with Sambuca. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why. Don't you? I don't, I don't, but I oh, don't, I, thought you, I, I don't know. know. I thought you did. No, I don't, but. Are you lying? Oh my I thought goodness. you did. That smells incredible. <laughs> I think that smells Ugh. incredible. No, it's too strong. Yeah. Okay, so we're, we're gonna eyeball this everybody because. Okay, um, hang on a second, David. It's not, we're not American, we're Canadian. So it's, it's like, a, I guess you, this is a Canadian fusion. What is? He's saying is this American cuisine. It's fusion. It's fusion. It's fusion. Fusion covers you off. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we don't have the shot glass, so we're just gonna go in with a nice hearty shot. And then we're gonna top it off with some nice sparkling water that I already have here. We're gonna use our liquid death and just top that off. And to me, this is an awesome cocktail because Sometimes you just want a quick cocktail. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be having a million different ingredients here. And this one is great in summertime. It's great in wintertime. You just put a little bit of lemon on the top for garnish. Tell me that's not gorgeous. That is beautiful. We'll show TikTok over here. TikTok, are you guys feeling that? Oh, I, think I think that it looks, looks great. I think it looks Seeds beautiful. Seeds and all, I think that yeah. looks great. Can I smell Oh that? my goodness, yeah, the lemon. Lemon and Sambuca, Ooh. come on. That does smell Oh my really goodness. Good. Okay, do you want to cheers me and try it now? Okay. Because uh, your pie's still going to have some time to it. I don't know if the pie's going to make it, guys, for the show. I think it will. We still got a lot we'll of time. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so cheers me. I can't have Let's it. Let's give this a try. Try it and tell me what it's like. Trumpet Master saying he'd try it. Looks tasty, says CJ. Ooh. Oh it my looks goodness. Good. It is so refreshing because, again, the Sambuca is too sweet. I can't just go straight up Sambuca like how some people do. But when you put the lemon in there and the sparkling water, ooh, that's a winner. That is a winner. Trumpet Master is asking, what the heck is that liquid death? It is it is weird looking. Um, it's, it's actually just sparkling water in a very cool can with a very cool name. So it's just plain sparkling water. I think the marketing is genius. Absolutely genius. Absolute genius because it makes people be like, what is that? But a lot of people are seeming to want to, are interested in the um, non-alcoholic beverages now. So I think it gives you a nice option to be carrying this around instead of, it looks like a tall boy. Oh, that's what I thought. For ages, I thought this was a craft beer. It looks like it. Because of the tall can. And the fact that it's so dark. S. Will just said, I will wait for the pie, S. Vanny. And Kiki, he wants to see the pie. All right. I think we're going to, I think we'll be able to see it. I hope so. The Ninja never sears us wrong. That thing cooks things super, super quick. So... Let's hope that works. Yeah, but definitely. For now, I'm just gonna be sipping away on this thing because this is really, really good. All right. Um, it smells good. It looks good. Now I know that we do have um, one special occasion to celebrate this week. No pet paws. No, but we do have a special guest. This the, it, relating to pet paws this week to show you Are guys. Are you okay? He's like, I'm <laughs> I don't know what to say here. <laughs> I'm drunk on the smell of sambuca. <laughs> 
Okay, so do we want to do pet paws first, and then I can show you guys a special guest we have? You might be able to kind of see over near Maddie. Yes, head. because I want the special guest to also see milestones. All right. They want to see it, so get, get, oh, get, get, oh, get, get her first. Yeah, so, okay. <laughs> All right. Hi, Who Jenny. do we have for our wonderful little guest? Oh, my goodness. What a little angel woman. Here she comes. <gasps> Oh, I gotta watch my mic. Look who it is! Guys, this is little Lupe! Have you been before? What a little wonderful angel. Hi, sweetie! She's like, what are you guys cooking up? I smell weenies! She looks terrified, <laughs> but this is my baby. So guys, normally we barbecue mama watches um, Lupe. Kathy no. She's like, Lupe! Look at her! But barbecue mama is watching someone else's dog. She's been watching this dog for the whole week. So, Lupe couldn't go over there because this girl's feisty, just yeah. like her mama, okay? She, she's a chihuahua, <laughs> if you can't already tell. She's part chihuahua. Well, she's a chihuini. She's a chihuini. She's part chihuahua, part weenie. So, um, yeah, so she does have some spunk to her. And she is very sassy, given the right circumstances. <laughs> Again, just like her mama. Yeah. Just like her mama. Yeah, she takes after her mom. Hi, E with me, X, Y, and Z. Nice to Hi, see Shuri. you. Hi, She's saying so cute. Thank you so much, guys. She, Loopy's making her appearance into the world. What an angel. She looks terrified. No, she's okay. She wants food. Yes, yeah, she does. You're okay, sweetie. Okay, now, do we want to do milestones now that Lupe's here and she can see, too? All right. So I think that she'd want to see. I, I know see who it what, is. I know who it is, too, but I'm excited to see this. So I, I know who we have. I have the picture. I know who it is. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness, it's Evil Llama himself with, is it Good Llama? Do we refer yeah. to Evil Llama's um, significant other as Good Llama? Or Mrs. Llama. Mrs. Llama, Good Llama, I love it. Now, Evil Llama, you, you guys are celebrating, how many years together was it? I think it was 19. Oh my goodness I gracious. I think he said it was 19. Because I think he said it was 20 at first, but then he quickly corrected to 19. That's a long time. That is a very long time. In today's day, you don't see that a lot. Evil Llama, give us one of your tips on how to maintain a happy long-term relationship because I'm guessing he knows. If you're holding it, holding it down for 19 years. They say 19. Wow. That is, that is a really, that is a very, very long time. Okay, so we still got some time in the pie, honey. Do you want to do another dip dive? I'm ready. I could. Do you I guys could. want to go for another dip dive? I'll wait for this pie. As Will says, he ain't going anywhere. Yeah. He's waiting around for this pie. All right, give it to me. Let's do it. Jason, happy anniversary. Bob, I wish we could deliver the pie to you. Maybe eventually that technology will be invented and we can send you guys some of our goodies. Guys, Barbecue Pops has a drone. So isn't, aren't drones supposed to be like the, del the food delivery thing of the future? That would be so weird. That would be so weird if we could actually send this out on a fleet of drones and be like, Hot Tommy gets a taste, CJ gets a taste, <coughs> Kathy gets a taste. <coughs> All right, wow, Jay's guys. saying 39 years. I, Jay has shared that before because wow. I, that's a very big number. Jay, that's incredible. And Trumpet Master's also 19 years. Awesome. <coughs> Okay, so Excuse guys, me. the question, the next question that we have that goes out to everybody here, this is an either or. Okay. White socks or black socks? What's your preference? Oh, at first I thought you were talking about a sports team. <laughs> Isn't there a sports team called one of those things? <laughs> Someone's still hung up on the sports question. Isn't there? So guys, the question is <coughs> white socks or black socks? Chantel's already coming at us with both. She wow. Doesn't, she doesn't, she's not saying either or here. She's saying both. <coughs> Trumpet Master saying black socks, hot Tommy. Now we know what hot Tommy, he also wears hot footwear. He's saying black, okay? Okay, so for once, this is like right down the middle, black and white socks. A lot of people say okay, black. Barbecue or... Jones, why are you saying white? And then in brackets, I'm old. Because I rock white sometimes and black. And why why is white the old sock? Yeah, I like white socks. Guys, is white or white? If you wear white socks, does that mean that you're old? You know what I think is old? Um, and I'm going to go out and say this because I am now um, having to be fit for orthotics. He's got gray on right now. I'm just looking. I have black, gray, and pink. Yeah, okay, so I had to get I'm being fitted for orthotics, and I specifically told the girl I don't want those old lady white running shoes. And you guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, just to let you know, those are like... Trend, those are like trendy now. Ew, those are hideous. Well, they're in style now. Thank the next generation. Yeah, no, I can't handle those, and I'm not getting those, orthotics or not. Okay, Bat13 is sharing white because of less sweat. 
Yeah, but if your foot's in a shoe, how is that? Is that, that make any sense? I know what. So do black socks make feet more sweaty? No, the this sun's not on them. This is a disgusting topic. <laughs> okay, I don't Kathy know. Kathy is saying red socks, Kiki. Okay, so Kathy. Thank says you, Kathy. She, knows, she was with you. She was See? with you. See, I knew it was something socks. Okay, <laughs> and got me. five leaf three saying men should wear black, women should wear white socks. Okay, interesting. Never heard that there was. A I don't there. like that one bit. Yeah, that's interesting. No, we don't say things like that in this house. Trumpet <laughs> master saying, I wish I could find those socks of the '80s that were white and tall and had different color stripes in the top. I would rock those. I know. Where are those? those I are love cool. those. The vintage ones that you the wear with like Chuck like, Taylors. Yeah, they like come up to like your knees. Yes. Actually, those could be those could be back in. I feel like that could make a comeback. Jan saying gray. Yeah, I got gray on right now. I have. Yeah, yours are cute, honey. Yours have like a sparkle to them. Yeah. Can you guys see keys? I can't get my foot up that high, but mine are black, pink, and gray. Yeah, I like. I gotta say, I, I like um white for like exercise. If white with like like ankle socks. That's what I was gonna say. White is the exercise sock. Yep. Yeah. And black every time, everywhere else. But I, in saying that, I also have like pink, yellow, green. Yeah, Dave's saying <laughs> all about the argyle socks. Yeah. Ooh, argyle. Okay. Do we want to check on what's going on underneath the ninja? Let's just see if we're there. It I could be close. That thing sometimes will surprise you. Yes. It will surprise you. It but could be close. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, Rob is specifying the tube socks. Yes. That's what Trumpet Master was talking about. Those are so cool. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go and just like branch off on this question. Are you into high like regular? Like actual Oh, we're sauce? almost there. Oh, that looks really okay, good, Okay, we'll honey. give this a few more minutes. A few more minutes. Lupe is concerned with what's happening over there. Um, are, do you like actual socks or do you like ankle socks? Because Jan is saying he likes ankle socks. I do ankle to bed. And what are what are ones that are like a little bit, not ankle, but Ew, like I a hate little, those. A little, I, ha I have those all the time. They're not, they're not low enough and they're not high enough. I can't stand those. S. Will saying never white socks with dress shoes, I always say. Uh... <laughs> A hundred percent, S. Will. Agreed. Imagine someone rocking white socks with, like, some nice dress shoes. No. No, and CJ saying ankle socks. Yeah, ankle it's socks are my bedtime sock. And Kathy saying ankle and no-shows, okay? So she's an ankle girl. Luby looks absolutely terrified, and I don't know why. Yeah, why does she look so scared? I don't know. Luby, it's okay, She's baby. candler shy. She's, like, giving me a look like, what are we doing? <laughs> it's okay, baby. If, she, if only she could hear Barbecue Mama. Barbecue Mama always makes her so happy. She's going to see Barbecue Mama after. Yeah, she We're going to go visit Barbecue Mama after this. Bring her some of this pie. Guys, even though we just got a little sight of what that looked like, I think I'm actually very surprised that that turned out. You're not going to try it? We are going to try it. We are going to try it. But can I'm just you saying, take... I can't believe that. Oh, I might like bite the top, but I don't think we can take it out. Do you want to bite the filling? Going. The filling's done. We still have leftover filling. I'll go the filling. Okay. I mean, because the filling is basically what it's going to taste like. So I want, I want you to try just the filling on its own. Uh, the puff pastry and the cheese, that's the best part. Oh, that's Let's smelling so Let's be honest, so that's what's carrying this thing along. I can smell the puff pastry already. Although I mm. would do this on, I feel like that would be delicious on toast. <gasps> or mashed potatoes. Yes, I like I so put okay, anything on, so a, on a crunchy piece of toast and I'm there. Yeah, me too. Okay, okay. Let's, let's try that then. Let's just, should we get this out? If it's done, yeah. If you can. I want it to be done and I want this to be, we did a little too much talky talky as usual. <laughs> Should I just try this as is? Yes. Okay, guys, let's just, I'll give this a little taste test for you and then we'll bring, we'll bring it out and show you. But I definitely don't want to wreck that because I think puff pastry also is better when it's crunchy. Yes, me too. And All especially right, since you have it on the bottom, it might take a bit longer. Mm. Is that so, I can tell. Did you salt it to perfection? Is it? Okay, mm -hmm. good. I, I didn't put any black pepper on it because Barbecue Pops is having some and it's too... Um, TikTok, check that out. <laughs> look at Luffy. I would just go this in the, in the pan like that. That's yeah, oh my goodness. Good that with own. potatoes would be, would be phenomenal. If anybody doesn't like cabbage, throw some bacon fat and some weenies in there, okay? Can you really notice the bacon fat? Slightly. I think if you put that in of, anything. It's because of the weenies. The weenies like taste really delicious, but yeah, that's a winner. Hot Tommy is saying mad double dipped. Yep, she did. I noticed that too, Hot Tommy. 
I, I double dipped, and you know what, guys? We're sharing this with family. Everyone's getting a little Maddie in every bite here, okay? Yeah, that's that's what she always does. Let's go see what this looks like, see if we're going to take it out, because we're at time. Yeah, I just take it out so we can hour, see. I don't know where this hour goes, everybody. I just want to at least see it, because it looked super crunchy last time. And I can tell you one thing. That thing cooks things very quickly, so I'm going to guess that it is ready. Well, I can smell it. I can always smell when things are ready. I, it smells crunchy. Oh, yes. That is looking so good. Instagram, Loopy wants to say hi to you. Hi, Loopy. Guys, hi, Loopy. check okay. this out. Look at how good that looks. I think that's a winner. Let's show TikTok. Oh, yes. That looks so good. Check it out, everybody. I think that looks incredible. <laughs> now, now, Lupe is also thinking that it looks incredible. I can tell she wants some. <laughs> I'm going to put that here. I don't want to die. I, I don't want to put like get that out yet, but... Everybody knows when you make a pie, you need to see that shot. So maybe we'll take a picture and we'll add that to the story because I want to see what that looks like on the inside. Yeah. It's like a sandwich. you got to cut it and see what it looks like on the inside. And you could have really made like two. With all I that know. filling, that was ended up being a lot How of cabbage. How is that a fridge clear up? Yeah, that I don't know. That wasn't like remnant cabbage. That was a lot of cabbage left. Yeah, and that would that is going to be phenomenal, honey. But I'm guys, gonna... I think there were some people that had faith in this project. I thought they, I think they think it was going to work. I knew it was from the beginning. Guys, this was so much fun. Honestly, how does this hour go by that quickly? I don't know. It does. It flies by every single week. This week had a special guest, and i got to be honest, I might want her every week. <laughs> Barbecue Mama's like, oh, heck no. She's coming with me. That's my baby. Yeah. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining us. This was super fun. We always have a blast with you guys. And these fridge clear-up meals, I'm having a lot of fun with them. Me too. Have a great weekend, guys. We will see you next week, same time, same place, and enjoy your weekend. Bye, everybody. Have a fantastic weekend. Bye, guys.